was locked in Brooklyn with Coach Paul. And we built a security room out there. Mm-hmm. Do you see? I don't. Well, no. Mm-hmm. The Quinnipiac? Yes, I will know. It's St. Dinner, St. Dennis, and then there's Dinner Club with mm-hmm. Coach. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll be in the locker room also holding for availability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. This is mic check, test one, two, mic check, audio level, check one, two. Mic one, mic one, check one, two, mic one. Mic two, mic two. Mic three, mic three. Mic four. Mic five, mic five. Thank you. 
the salmon. Sour grapes. Sour grapes. You know Bedix will have one for him. I mean, he wasn't here, though. So technically, you can't give him a commercial. We welcome Boston College to the podium. We're joined by head coach Jerry York, Teddy Doherty, and Steve Santini. We will take an opening statement from Coach York and then direct questions to the student athletes. So please now raise your hand and state your name and affiliation when asking questions. So Coach York, whenever you're ready, go for it. You know, I thought our Quinnipiac played very, very well. Uh, it's certainly a, a team worthy of playing uh, for a national championship uh, Saturday night. So. Uh, yeah, they, I thought they were uh, they were hard. They were gritty. They got good goaltending. Uh, I think Rand has an excellent team there. Uh, having said that, uh, I think our club uh, we started a little bit slow. I thought tonight, you know, down two nothing uh, early. But even though it was three one, I thought, you know, we're built to come back, and uh, we really played well. I thought the third period uh, got it to three two, and then, you know, with the goaltender pulled, uh, I thought we had two really. Uh, exceptional chances to score that the kid made f unbelievable saves on. Uh, one was low, low to his pad on the left side. Uh, and then when Ian got all the wood on it, the very four or five seconds left, he made a terrific glove save on his uh, top. And that sent us, uh, you know, ended our season for us. I thought our team uh, was an excellent team, capable of winning a national championship. Uh, as all, all the three other teams here in the field. Uh, so you got to take a, you know, you go into it, there's no guarantees. Uh, but I like the effort our, our kids had uh, after the slow start. I thought we battled hard and uh, wore the uniform very proudly. So uh, no regrets. We played hard. And uh, I guess the only regret is we're not staying over to play in the championship game. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions for the student athletes. Raise your hand, or Mark Holders will get the mic for you. Just state your name and affiliation, please. Okay, Dave, we'll take one to the far right here. Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. For both of you, can you try to explain why the team came out so so poorly, almost looking like a team that had never been to the Frozen Four? Steve, why don't you go ahead? Um, well, Dave, I think uh, you know on the big stage, it's it's normal to be a little bit nervous. Um, you know, we had a lot of freshmen in the lineup. Not that that's an excuse, um, but you know, if if you're going to play a perfect game for 60 minutes, you're going to be the national champion, and only one team is going to do that. So uh, you know, um, we knew that uh, coming in here, we we're going to have ups and downs, and uh, you know, un unfortunately, the slow start, um, you know, wasn't in our favor. But uh, you know, that's happened. It happens. Uh, could have happened in the second period, and this could have could have scored two goals too. It just happened to be early in the game. Teddy, your thoughts? They just came out. They just came out uh, faster than us. There's no other way to explain it. Um, two goals in the first ten minutes, unacceptable, and uh, ultimately cost us the game. There's uh, there's no other rhyme or reason about it. It's a heck of a team they have over there, though. Additional questions for the student athletes? Take one in the middle, Jess. Steve, you got a power play goal in the third period, but you were uh, thwarted on your first four power play attempts. What did Quinnipiac's penalty kill do that, that kind of had you frustrated? Yeah, I think they played within the structure well. Um, you know, they knew uh, who our top guys were and, and what we were trying to do. So, uh, you know, we got to give a lot of credit to Quinnipiac. They uh, they played a great game. Um, like you mentioned, they did great in the penalty kill. And, uh, you know, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, it ended our season. But that's just, that's hockey. Um, we're going to be gracious in victory and defeat. All right. Questions? We'll take one over to the right. Um, Teddy, as, as captain of this team, can you characterize uh, the team for, uh, from a captain's perspective uh, looking back on this club? Yeah. Um, it's such a fun club to be a part of. It's, it was an honor to um, to lead these guys with as, long, uh, as well as my, my assistant captains. Um, it was a heck of a year. I think uh, a lot of people underestimated us coming into this tournament. 
just because we got knocked off by a Northeastern team. Um, I'm just I'm so proud to be a Boston College hockey player and represent the school. Um, I can't say how enough how important that is to me and how special that is to me. So no regrets, like Coach said. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, guys, thank you very much. And now we'll take questions for Coach York. You know, I'm really proud of these two young guys just leaving the stage. This is a very difficult, you know, ending when you get to the first before lose a game and five minutes later the guy's knocking on the door to hey, come on down and, you know, talk to a whole group of reporters. I thought they handled themselves very well, uh, uh, so it did not surprise me, but it's a very difficult process for those young guys. Okay. Jim, we'll take one in front. Uh, Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. Jerry, the, their forecheck seemed to be getting there really quickly in the first period. Was there anything that they they showed you that you didn't expect, or was it just, again, maybe go back to what you said about not having the start that you wanted? Well, the first goal, we got a chance to look at it, and uh, you know, whoever defense had the puck in the corner, he went to make a fairly safe pass, D to D, and the puck bounced on him, and uh, so it enabled them to get on that uh, – that pass there, and, the, and he turned the puck over. But uh, just the way the puck bounced was funny. It was a fairly safe play, and all of a sudden they won nothing. And uh, the second goal was similar. Bo both came off turnovers uh, deep in our zone. So, um, you know, we got to give credit to Quinnipiac. They they forced the turnover, and they scored a goal. So scored two goals there. Uh, take Mike. It on the left. Mike McNair, College Hockey News coach. After that, and what you just talked about, you guys seemed to bounce back. Uh, second period, he came out strong. What changed there in between the first and the second? Well, I just thought we got stronger as the game went on. Uh, I know it's like Teddy said, it's a 60 minute game, and you, you know, it could be in the second period, you have a, uh, you know, ebb and flow of the games. That, but I, th I liked the way we rebounded. And like I said, my opening statement, even though it was 3 1, I thought we had the capability of coming back, and, you know, we came within a fraction of our. I mentioned to our team another maybe another minute there of the game we might have, but they only played 60 minutes and I, like I said the kid made some exceptional saves there late in the game. Take Dave. Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. This is kind of the same question I asked uh, uh, the players, but uh, in particular in terms of that starting, uh, the poor start and how Steve commented on how even though your your program has been here so many times, you still did have a lot of freshmen. How much was that a factor? You know, I, I just think uh, we're looking at too, too much what did BC do wrong with that game. I think Quinnipiac played very, very well uh, through the 60 minutes, but especially, you know, the early parts of the game. So. Let's give them credit and, uh, uh, you know, certainly would like to have had a better start, but, you know, th they played very well in the beginning. So it wasn't any one thing. I don't think it was, uh, you know, I haven't asked that freshman, uh, but, you know, it is a big stage and it, it's, uh, you know, the bright lights here. So it's hard for, you know, young guys, but, uh, you know, Quinnipiac, back, uh, you know, responded very well from the start, the start of the game. So I. I'm not looking to find you know what happened the first five minutes of the game. They just made some good plays and we turned the puck over. So, take a question from Jess. Jerry Jess Myers, uh, USA Hockey Magazine. In the same vein, what did you see from Quinnipiac's penalty kill that was so effective in those first four power plays you had? I thought they were uh, very aggressive and they uh, tracked the puck well. Uh, you know, took away some of our passing lanes. Uh, so they did a nice job in the PK. Additional questions for Coach York? Thanks a lot, Jerry. Yep, you're welcome.
All right, we're pleased to be joined by Quinnipiac University. We've got head coach Rand Pecknold, Landon Smith, and Travis St. Dennis. We'll take an opening statement from Coach Pecknold and then direct the questions to the student athletes. Coach, congratulations and your opening comments, please. Thank you. Um, first off, I'd like to congratulate Boston College on a fantastic year. Thought they played great tonight. Uh, they gave us everything we could handle. Um, second, I uh, just want to make sure I also mention, it hasn't come up this week, but um, we, we have a sports psychologist who worked with us this year is Dr. Wayne Hallowell. He's been great. I think a big reason for our success. So I, I want to kind of acknowledge what he's done for our team this year. Uh, he met with our team early in the year, gave us some really good ideas about reset button and being resilient and how to handle adversity. Um, and third, in terms of us, like I don't think it was the prettiest game on the planet, but uh, this team is resilient. Uh, it's great character, great culture. And uh, all year long, we have found ways to win. You know, we just, that's what we do. We find ways to win, and we, and we did it tonight. So okay. we're excited to move on. Thanks, Coach. We'll take questions for the student athletes. We'll start in front. Jim. Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. For both of you, if you could talk about the, the four check and the ability of your forwards to get there in that first 10 minutes of the game, create those turnovers, and, and that led to goals. Landon, once you start. Um, I think our four checking is huge. Um, I think it's a big part of the way we start the game, and um, if we succeed in the way we want to four check, it creates kind of chaos um, and it, it tips things in our direction. Okay, Travis. Yeah, I think um, you know our four checks uh, a key thing for our team, and um, you know especially early on, early on in the game there against BC, um, we definitely took it to them the first five minutes and created some offense off there, and um, you know luckily got a couple goals in. Additional questions. We'll take one in the in the back right and then in the front. Victoria Tigliano, Q30 Television. Um, Travis, in late September, I asked Soren what the biggest goal for this team was, and he said to win a national championship. I think he kind of spoke for all of you guys when he said that. So, how do you feel knowing that that game is the next one that's coming up? Yeah, it's definitely uh, very exciting. Um, you know, it was a tough loss our freshman year as a senior class, and um, now we get another kick at the can. So. Um, we're definitely very excited for Saturday. Okay, we'll take a question right there to the right. Uh, Joey Johnston, Tampa Tribune. Landon, um, coach mentioned, uh, you know, how you, you guys have always found ways to win. Is the kind of the way the the game went tonight, and you guys finding a way to pull it out? Is this for somebody who's seeing you for the first time? Is this pretty indicative of the way you played all year? Just finding a way to. To, to get it done tonight? I'd say so. I think we have a really resilient group of guys, and, and it seems like no matter what the score is or no matter what our, the situation is in the game, um, nothing changes in the locker room. Um, everybody expects to win, and, and everybody just goes out there and gives their all, and um, nothing changes. Not too high, not too low. Okay, we'll take one to the right. Mike Chambers with the Denver Post. Landon, just talk about your goal. It, it seemed like uh, BC came out extremely strong there in the second, and that goal kind of... Uh, zap things for him a bit um yeah i mean we had a nice face off and uh the puck went down to tim clifton and, and he made a nice play to the net um the puck kind of went over demko um and i was behind him i took a couple swipes at it and went in so okay additional questions for the student athletes all right guys thank you very much awesome. thank Great you job. all right we'll start with questions for Coach Pecknell, we'll start in the middle, Bob, and then Jim, and then we'll take one in the back. <coughs> Bob Snow, NHL.com, and BruinsDaily.com, right in the middle here. Right? Oh, sorry, Bob. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, we've heard a lot about your power play, but tonight your penalty kill was the one that came through for you. Can you talk about how that worked or what you did to make that work as well as it did? Or how it works, basically. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, one go, we all go. <laughs> you know, like we want to, we, we can't have three guys going and, and the fourth guy not. So I thought I thought the rotations were good. I thought the, the, the compete was great on the PK tonight. The willingness to block shots. Uh, our neutral zone was really good in, in kind of denying them entries. Um, and the only issue we had was uh, we, lost, we lost more face-offs than we normally do on the PK. And then we, we, had, some, we had some failed clears where guys just got to have a little more poise. We got to rip that puck down and, and kill some time off. So, um, you know, but we f again, we found a way. And I think our PK is better than what we showed tonight. Uh, but it was still, it was good enough. Uh, Rand Jim Conley from USCHO. When you get a 2 nothing lead, it gives you that luxury maybe to manage the game. How did you feel like your team managed that game tonight? Um, <clears throat> I think in spurts, we were really good. You know, I thought, uh, I thought we were controlling certain parts of it. Uh, in the first, I thought we took a bad penalty, let them back into it. Um, I thought we took some bad. I thought we took bad penalties the whole night. You know, I, I'd say the two things we did poorly tonight were, were bad penalties, 
um, and, and the failed clears. Uh, but other than that, you know, the compete factor was outstanding. And that's one thing we talk a lot about. If, if we don't have to be perfect, we just, if we're ultra competitive. And um, they can beat one guy, they can beat two, they can beat three. But we're going to have a fourth and fifth guy there. And I think you saw that tonight in, in waves and how we come. And um, I think I got off topic and didn't really answer your question, Jim. But going back to managing the game, uh, it, it was choppy. And I think that's what happens with when NCAA tournament games with these two-minute timeouts. There, it, it's, you know, it's, there's four mini games every period. And, and it was choppy. And there was, there was times BC was in control. There was times we were in control. And, you know, we find a, found a way to, to get the W. Okay. We'll take one in the back. Coach Jeff Jensen, WFTV. Talk about the play your goalie, especially at the end of the game where he was basically standing on his head, yeah. um, taking the best that BC could offer, and 34 saves on the night. Talk about the uh, play your goalie. Yeah, Gartsy's a winner. Uh, he's got great battle mode, and, you know, he just – all year long he's been going up, you know, head-to-head -head with, with the top goalies in the country, and, and he finds a way to win. That's what he does. He's, he's done it for us for three years, and he did it in junior hockey, and a uh, great competitor, great battle mode, and – just really happy for him. Really happy we had him in the net tonight, too. He was great. Additional questions for Coach? All right. Adam, we'll take one over here. Adam Woden, College Hockey News. Coach, I think I've seen seven of your wins this year, and after every single one of them, you said that wasn't the prettiest one in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> when was the last pretty one? And uh, I assume you're okay with that. That's a great question. Uh, you know, and that's sometimes that's how we play. You know, we find ways to win. Um, I thought Lowell was was really good. That Lowell win, we were great. Um, you know, the um, Yale win, Brown. I guess I could come up with a few if I really thought about it. But, uh, but I guess you know, it's 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 part of what we do. Um, I, I'd like to be us to be a little cleaner in what we do. But um, again, sometimes our compete level is so at just it's off the charts and guys just get a little frowsed a little bit and so there's a trade-off with that you know if you if you want to if i want to slow them down and and, and we're not going to compete as hard we probably have more poise but I, I think we're we're good because of that compete you know we got some kids that they're willing to do anything to win they're selfless you know uh, some of the shot like tommy shot had a huge shot block at the end like it just no fear he's going to drop down and eat that puck and um i thought that was a big part of it tonight too i thought our shot blocking was really good I thought Boston College at times didn't want to shoot the puck. You know, they were trying to shoot wide and whatever. And, I mean, that works once in a while. But I, I thought we, we kind of intimidated a little bit, and they, they passed up some good scoring chances. Okay. Take one on the right. Paula Weston. Paula Weston. <coughs> Hi, it's Paula Weston from U.S. College Hockey Online. Oh, wow, hello, everyone. Um, you were talking tonight about not <coughs> it, it not being a very pretty win, and yet when you had your first opportunity and the team scored on the power play, and can you talk about how maybe important that was to score in response to their goal so quickly and Landon's con contribution on the power play this season? Yeah, uh, Landon, Landon's had a great year. Uh, you know, Landon's points are probably lower than what he does for us. Like, he, he gets a lot of – he scores a lot of goals for us where he's the net front screen and doesn't get, a, doesn't get the goal, doesn't get the assist, but in my mind, he's, he's, the, goal, he's, the, goal, he's the guy – reason we scored the goal, so he does a lot for that for us. Us. We always acknowledge that as a team. Uh, but that goal was huge. You know, like we, you know, our power play will we'll, we'll definitely be cute at times and make some unbelievable plays. And other times we're just like, let's get it to the net. And I thought that was something we had to do with Demko tonight. You know, he's such an elite goaltender. He's, you know, one of the best in the country. Uh, we just had to keep putting pucks on net and, um, and find a ways to score rebound goals. And that was, a, you know, an ugly, greasy goal at the net front. And that's how you win hockey games. Okay, we'll take one to the left in the back. Back here, uh, MJ Baird, Q30 Television. So you talked about that like ultra competitive factor, and you, it seemed like other than the first couple minutes of the second period, your team did a good job of taking away BC's time and space in all zones of the ice. How did that contribute to the team's success today? Yeah, I mean that's our, you know, we want to do that to anybody we play. We want to deny time and space. Um, you know, I think you look at the the talent, the firepower that BC has. I mean, they've got to be one or two in the country in terms of talent. You know, and if those kids have time, they're going to make plays, and we just we had to, we had to kind of get up in their face a little bit. We kept talking about, you know, not sitting back and kind of a prevent defense, and we did that a couple times. Like we we want to go, we want to go, and, and really and really regap and push up. And I thought we did a pretty good job for the most part on that tonight. Okay, we'll take a couple in the front. Uh, Coach Tim Rapley, New England Hockey Journal. Um, I don't know if you have a kangaroo court, but uh, Timmy Clifton picks up uh, three minors. Uh, is he going to get hung by his thumbs? What's going on? We, we do have a kangaroo court, but uh, the, the players handle it, so I don't handle that, so I'll let, I'll let them deal with that. Uh, you know, Timmy knows, like, he needs to be a little more under control, but um, he was really good tonight outside of those three penalties. His compete level was, was great, was fantastic. It was off the charts, and he's a, he's a big leader for us and a big reason why we win. Jess. 
Jess Myers, USA Hockey Magazine. Rand, it seemed like the boards were really lively. Yes. And, uh, a few of the BC players talked about, you know, trying yeah. to take advantage of that. Did you note that, <clears> and did you have to adjust or, or do anything? Uh, absolutely. We talked about this morning at practice. We've had a couple days to practice here. Um, that puck comes off hard. Um, I think it's – I always think it's hard to kind of plan that, though, to use that to your advantage. I, I think it happens sometimes, and if, and if you're crashing the net a lot, you're going to get you're gonna get a break off it. Um, but to set plays off it, it's just you don't know where it's going to go. But it, there's no question that those are some of the li liveliest kick plates I've, I've seen in a while. Okay, Dave. Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. You were taking on a program that just seems to be in the Frozen Four all the time, and yet your dominating start, which arguably won the game for you, made them look like they were the inexperienced team. Can you talk about that, how that happened? You know, I, I, yeah, I can't factor in with BC because obviously it's a great program, and Coach York is, I mean, he's the best, you know, with, with his 1,000-plus wins and what, he's, what they've done at BC. So you, you, can't, you can't take anything away from him. He gets his teams ready to go. I think for us... We just we kept focusing on this is what we're good at, this is what we do well, and that's what we're going to do on Thursday against BC. And we just kept hammering it and hammering. We didn't change anything we've done all year. Um, and the thing I've said for I guess that's 42 games now is, if we play to our identity, we will be rewarded. And that's what we said today, and and we were. Take another one in the back left. Uh, Paul Ryan, News Channel 8, WFLA here in Tampa, uh, back here. Oh, there, sorry, <laughs> hi Paul. Uh, hey, what did you learn in 2013, uh, finishing runners up, and? and what did you learn that you can use in the championship game Saturday night to make your team better? Um, I don't know if there's anything specific. I mean, I thought we, I thought we played great in the, in the 2013 uh, Frozen Four. I thought, uh, I thought we played great against St. Cloud. I thought we played great against Yale. Just kind of couldn't get a bounce and, and ran into a hot goalie. Um, you know, in the end, again, I go back. I keep getting asked questions about that year and that this year. In the end, like, we, we have a process. We have an identity that we play to. And uh, we're 42 games in, and it's, it works. We don't need to change anything. We just need to keep doing it. Try to stay healthy here for Saturday and, and, and you know, again, play to our identity and we'll, we'll get our reward. All right. Any additional questions for Coach? Thanks a lot, Rand. Good. Okay. Thank you.